that piece of shit was put on a shipping container and sent to New Zealand, which is in a different hemisphere, to shoot the show. Because we had to have that piece of shit card. My question is, my question is, Sam Raimi, what happened in that car? What happened? And you now had to put that in every movie. When I say every movie, I'm including, by the way, Quick and the Dead, which is a Western. Where was this car in Quick and the Dead? Broken down. He tore it apart and built a wagon over the chassis of it so that he could say it was in the movie. Anyone see Oz the Great and Powerful? Yeah. It's in that. Well, where? Yeah, where? In the tinker shop, all up on the wall. Yeah, brass covered parts of this piece of shit car. What happened in that car? Have you seen Dark Man? Yeah! yeah. Dark Man's hanging from a helicopter. Hits the fucking Delta. <laughs> Have you seen a simple plan? Yeah. That's Billy Bob's car. Goddamn. He spent so much money on that car. Oh, but I love it. It means so much to me. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. Any feature, other features people should appreciate. It, it's, it's, you know what, it's 2019. I'm not even gonna even go there. <laughs> My witty personality. Yes, yes. Right here, yes. You love being the Spider-Man movies. The cameos. The cameos. When you say cameo, smile when you say that. Because cameo infers insignificance. Am I, am I correct? In the first Spider-Man, he wants to be called the human spider. As the ring announcer, I won't let that happen. And I named him, I named Spider-Man the Amazing Spider-Man. Second one, as the snooty usher, he won't let he won't let Peter Parker get into the play because he's late because it'll spoil the illusion. He wanted to see Mary Jane in a play. I'm technically the only character who's ever defeated Spider-Man. <laughs> Another cameo. Woo! Insignificant. French Mater D. How many superheroes go to mortals for help? Yeah. <laughs> that many. He's coming to me to help propose to Mary Jane. Oh, you're the true that damn straight. That's it. <laughs> so, But did I help Spider-Man in part three? Not really, because he was kind of a D-bag to me in the first few movies. <laughs> Give Sam a lot of credit. I mean, he used all of these tricks in all the Spider-Man movies. And it's the beauty of B-movies, it's where you learn your shit. He really learned how to do nothing. You know, there's a sequence where every, everything's laughing in the room. Sam emptied out the production department, the transportation department. Anybody who was working came to the set to wiggle something in the background. The phones were ringing and nobody was answering the phones for a whole day. Because Sam's like, no, nope, I need everybody. So it's great to see him take that ability to then apply it. He, Sam always thought bigger than we could afford. <laughs> and now it's like, go baby, go. You know, it's great to see. Someone's freaking out over here, yes. 
Say it again. My favorite practical effects, assuming those are my favorite? What's yours? I don't pay for these movies. A little louder, sir. Something in the forest? Okay. <laughs> I'm about to then drag Bobby Joe to death. Talking about that part? No. Help me, sir, help me. I haven't seen the movie that much. <laughs> yeah, hit the saw in the eye. You like you like when I stabbed it the blue crap came out. <laughs> Practical effects are fine, sir. On a set, uh, sure. Don't forget, on the first Evil Dead, we, we use live ammunition. <laughs> okay, let's blow out the window. Where am I hitting, Sam? Where do you want me to hit it? Doesn't really matter, does it? Wait, wait a second, Tim? Tim was our cameraman, Tim Philo. Tim, Tim, don't be there. Don't be there. <laughs> Wave your hand. Don't be there. Don't be there. <laughs> they turn the camera on and run like hell. I just shoot the window out with a shotgun. Yeah, there's your practical effect. <laughs> so get glass on my left eye. Is that working for you, kid? <laughs> but nobody does blood like like real liquid. They've tried and tried and tried. They've tried digital blood up one side and down the other. The director who did the Evil Dead remake a few years ago, 2013, Fetty Alvarez, wanted the surprise of actual pressurized liquid that nobody knew where it was gonna go when you hacked into it with like an actual blade. He goes, I love that. The crew doesn't know where it's gonna go. The actors don't know. Nobody knows and it happens. They'll all go, what the So all he did is he took the digital effects and painted the, the tube out that pumped blood. So sure enough, man, when you hacked into that shit, it's just, you got the other guy. Ah! Ah! And that's the fun part of it. Anytime on the Ash vs. Evil Dead, we were going to slime a new actor. We're like, where? Where is it happening? We just wanted to go and see. Because in New Zealand, we always shot at the wrong time of the year. It was always the dead of winter in a warehouse, like a tobacco warehouse, not insulated. So this blood is cold. <laughs> Sam made sure on the pilot for Ash vs. Evil Dead to deliver the blood personally. <laughs> One of the best ways for you young filmmakers is take a four inch wide, like a, like a paste brush, dip it into a cup of blood, and just flick that sucker. <laughs> Sam was a master. He knew where the camera was, and he would reach his hand out. He checked with the camera, and like, "Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it?" And he would pull himself back like at one eighteenth of an inch, and he'd go, <laughs> "You know, for a realistic effect." <laughs> yes. Your forty what birthday? Forty. Let's do forty. Fortieth birthday. Great. So you've seen now, with this movie, all three movies with me, on stage. And so, now what? <laughs> okay, you're happy. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for your happiness. <laughs> but now, uh, again, why? Why? These aren't the happiest movies. <laughs> They're fucked up. What? Yes, they are. Best birthday ever. Okay, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yes, right here. Hello.